What's going on everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing the Netflix new original film directed by the Coen brothers and that is The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Ballad of Buster Scruggs is an anthology film following a bunch of different storylines with a bunch of different actors showing up within these and it's all taking place on the wild wild west going through prospecting, going through the Oregon Trail, going through a scary stagecoach and even going maybe to the outlaws and the in-laws. You never know where The Ballad of Buster Scruggs is going to take you next i was really excited for this movie one being i'm a huge fan of the coen brothers the coen brothers is like one of my favorite directors like working today no country for old men raising arizona and the big lebowski are some of my favorite films they've ever produced and you can never forget about true grit fargo miller's crossing they have a huge lineup of films that you can never forget to knowing there's a new coen brothers film coming out it's got to get film fanatics a little bit excited especially when it's taking going back to the wild wild west just like how they did so well with true grit and I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed with the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. It's not horrible by any means. It's very well made. It, it looked beautiful. I mean, this film is some of the most beautiful looking films I've ever seen. I, if I'm not wrong, this actually might be the first film that they filmed digitally. And I think that actually enhances a lot of the scenes because there's this one segment that they go through, which is like about a prospector in this weird valley where he's just mining for gold. And it is stunning how well that film looks. And the whole film could win best cinematography. It is outstanding what the cinematographers got out of here every single shot is miraculously amazing even the score is beautiful you hear it's that wow wow west girl you're gonna get but my issue with this film is with the storytelling the scripts are great for each and every segment the scripts are great for each and every segment and even though some segments do run a little bit too long and even a tad bit short at times and maybe not all of them were perfectly great. The thing about anthology movies is when you do an anthology movie, I always expect for some way to tie it in the end, or at least tie in subtle nods and stuff. And I do understand what the Coen brothers were going for. It They were going for showing different aspects of the Wild Wild West. They're showing the outlaws. They're showing the prospecting. They're showing the mine gold digging. And they're showing the Oregon Trail. They're showing all these different types of phenomenons within the Wild Wild West that we all come accustomed to when reading about, when playing video games about, when watching movies about. We see these different things and the Coen brothers are tackling each and every aspect of it. But I was expecting for it to tie in. Or I was expecting for it to be entertaining. But the film came off in two different ways for me. One, it's like the Coen brothers wrote a bunch of different scripts. And they were like, wow, we have all these ideas. I don't know what to do. Let's just make them short stories and make short films out of them. Yay, let's do it. And yeah, that's what it felt like mostly. But... I do think this movie would have benefited being a TV show over just being a feature film. One of the big reasons I say this is because the film drags. It gets long. And not in that, oh, yeah, I'm having so much fun. Because there are some good moments in here. Dude. There are some enjoyable moments. And I know I, I don't want to sound like I'm crushing down on this film, but I was so disappointed by this way. It just, by the end of the film, I felt exhausted. It was like two hours and 13 minutes, and I just felt exhausted. I, I needed a break in between the segments because some segments run a little bit too long some segments run a little bit too short and i wanted more from some of the other ones segments easily in here that you could have made just a feature film about in general but each segment just feels like its own self-contained story which again that's what it's supposed to be but i really think picture this buster scruggs coming in this is the first segment he is and the way that he goes about and the when his story ends it goes into the next story and it has nothing to do with the buster scruggs but i was picturing this film going what if the coen brothers made their own anthology series kind of like the twilight zone series in a sense where each episode is a different story just like how this movie did it and buster scruggs is the host talking about what's going to happen in this episode and where it's going and what part of the wild wild west we're going to be tackling this episode varying different actors popping in james franco liam neeson clancy brown popping into these certain segments and enjoying their different types of stories and going about them and seeing where it goes that's what i was expecting that's what i kind of wanted i think would have worked better really as a television show i don't see why they made this into a movie i think it really would have worked better on the small screen don't get me wrong i love seeing this on the big screen it is going to some theaters and it will be on netflix all on the same day but that said, I do think the story could have benefited from that and from being an anthology TV series over a movie. Acting is great. There's some great moments in here. Personally, my two favorite segments were the Oregon Trail one. I thought that was brilliant. I loved every single thing it got about it. And I love how each story ended. I think each story ended in a very different type of dynamic way, but it fit with him perfectly toned within the Wild Wild West. And my other favorite one was the last segment they went through. It was taking place in a stagecoach, on a stagecoach of just people talking. And it's so interesting 
interesting, it's funny, it's laughable, and it just works for everything that's going in here. There's six segments overall, and I enjoyed most of them. Some of them, I think, dragged on a bit. All the Ballad of Buster Scruggs is an entertaining watch. It's a mixed bag, personally, for me, and, and I think if you're a Coen Brothers fan, I still do recommend it. Do find, try and find a theater near you that's playing it. If you can't, do check it out on Netflix. If you got Netflix, it's right there in front of you to watch on November 16th. Again, I liked it. I just wanted to love this film. I'm a big Coen Brothers fan, and I just felt a little bit disappointed from this film. I got what they were going for, but I do feel like in the end of the day, it would have worked better as a television show. Good performances, great writing, great looking movie, and a great score. And the story and the segments all don't piece together, and for me, not all of them really work all together. By the end of the day, I just, again, it's a mixed bag for me. So with all it's in, I'm going to give The Ballad of Buster Scruggs a C. No, I'm going to be the minority on this one, so I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below. So let's talk about it down below. Did you guys feel the same way? Do you think this would have worked better as a television show, or do you think this would have was perfectly fit as a movie? Let's discuss it down below in the comments. Also, leave me a comment down below and tell me where it is your favorite Coen Brothers film and what was your favorite segment from this movie. Let's talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys are new here, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button so you guys never miss a video. Plus, also hit up Sandwich on Films down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until until next time, stay classy and have a great rest of your day.